Welcome to another edition of the New Espresso Week. This week, we're taking a look at Olympia Coffee's Sweetheart Ethiopia Yergeshef Reserve. All right, so it is full on winter here in Colorado. Um, so I really haven't spent much time on the bike. Been spending a lot of time split boarding actually, which has been awesome. Uh, it's been a great way to kind of maintain my fitness and do something a little bit different, take a break from the bike. I know my channel is called Bike A Latte. It's all about bikes and coffee, but uh, yeah, if you live in a winter region, sometimes you gotta switch it up and I've really been enjoying it. So enter face pow shot here. All right, so that photo was taken by my buddy Barry. Um, epic day out, um, some deep snow some great face shots. Anyways, let's get back to the espresso. So we are going to take a look at this um, Ethiopian blend by Olympia Coffee. Now, generally, I am not big on single origin espressos. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, it's because I feel espresso should have a balance of cocoa notes and then some sort of acidity to cut through, and it's hard to get all of that balance from one coffee. However, this is a blend of coffees from the Yergeshef region. So they worked with a bunch of different farmers or maybe just two farmers, I'm not sure they don't say which ones, but they blended some coffee, washed Ethiopian, so no naturals, which is also surprising because I love a good natural. But this coffee, again, it just told me why I love Ethiopian coffees. They are just so good. It's the birthplace of coffee. This is another one. I generally am not a big fan of single origin espresso, so, but this one is good. So let's take a look at my initial impressions here. All right, it's winter time in Colorado. Just got back from doing a little alpine touring skiing or split boarding, I don't ski a split board. But anyways, it is time for the first drink of a new espresso and it's actually single origin. Um, Sweetheart Ethiopia Yerga Chef Reserve. Uh, I love Ethiopians and I love uh, especially Yerga Chefs, just because of the complexity and the sweetness and everything that's so great about them. Generally, um, single origins are a little tough for an espresso. So, I've got it here. I brewed it up. Let's see how it tastes. Good. Um, not getting any berries. Um, it says berries, citrus, and maple syrup. It's um, it's it's actually really unique. It's like a, uh, it's almost like potpourri for lack of a better term. It's got all these like floral notes that are really light and complex, and yeah, it's very very floral. Yeah, not really getting berries, citrus, or maple syrup, which they have listed here. Um, yeah, it's very uh, very floral, like super floral. All right, we'll just have to see how it holds up over the next couple weeks, and we'll uh, have finish the rest of the review. So as you can see, I was kind of surprised on my initial drink. Um, this was a really good coffee. Um, and as it aged, it got even better. So, uh, and I continue to like it. So let's check that out right now. So we saw my initial impre impressions of this coffee. Um, it's the morning here in Colorado. I just brewed um, another uh, version of the Sweetheart Yerga Chef Reserve. So um, let's give it a taste. I mean, it's been about, I don't know, three or four days since I first had this coffee. Um, I've had it a few times and it's still very floral and it's still very much a kind of bouquet of flowers in your mouth kind of, <laughs> kind of deal. Um, so yeah, so so far not a lot of change from when I initially tasted it. Uh, I still did um, 18 and a half in. I got roughly 34 out. I stopped it a little short. Um, this time I should have got uh, 36. And actually looking at their brew parameters, um, they recommend 18 grams in, 38 to 42 out. So a really long shot and in 28 to 32 seconds. So kind of that traditional brew time. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shooting for that because that's how they recommend it and see if I can't get a good uh, brew. I may also do some uh, brew it at those parameters and then VST it to see kind of what my extraction rates are. I haven't done that in a while with espresso. Um, so maybe we'll get into the numbers a little bit on this one. All right. 
talk to you in another week. Just a quick update on this uh, Olympia Ethiopian Eurochef espresso. I've been noticing that as I've been drinking it over the last uh, about two weeks now, I'm getting kind of towards the end, and I've been following their brew parameters, which I'll mention in the review, what they recommend. But I've talked a lot about how when you initially drink it, it's like a floral bomb. It's like a just like you hit a bunch of bouquets in your mouth, uh, or it's like potpourri, kind of really strong. However, once it kind of cools and it settles down and it has a little bit, the espresso has a little bit of a time to breathe, it becomes a lot more kind of chocolatey and more traditional espresso and actually has been really surprising um, for just kind of being an Ethiopian blend. It's turning out uh, far better than I imagined. So just a quick note on that. All right, um, here's my recommendation. If you haven't seen my other video, I have another video on Olympia Coffee's Big Truck Espresso Blend. I haven't had it in a while, so I can't speak to it um, now. And when I was in Seattle, if you've seen my Seattle coffee review, uh, I didn't get to check out any of their uh, shops because I was kind of in the northern part of Seattle, not down south. Um, I am I do have a client out there, so I'm hoping to get out there. And while I'm there, I'm definitely going to try to check out Olympia because it's closer to where my client is. And so I should hopefully be able to get there and see. Maybe they're serving the Big Truck Espresso and it's good. But if it was me and this is still available and you're interested in Olympia Coffee, order this. Don't order the Big Truck. Order this. This is good. Um, the the big truck was okay when I had it. it was it was all right, but this this is good. Um, so definitely check this out. This is a a blend from um, the Yergeshev region. I mean, what else can I say? Ethiopian coffees are just amazing, and I wasn't expecting it. 100% honest, I wasn't expecting it. It did have a great balance. I mean, it was just it was great. It was fantastic. Um, yeah. So check this out. Olympia Coffees, Sweetheart, Ethiopia, Yergeshev Reserve. Order this over the big, big truck and thank me later. As always, coffee, pedal, repeat. And if you enjoy these videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell. Just helps me to keep making videos so that you know you like them and hopefully I can help you make cafe quality coffee at home. And